Does time really move faster while dreaming, or is Inception just based on a big pile of lies? Stay tuned. Before we jump in, consider helping us out by hitting the like button, maybe subscribe, and help us grow our channel while I tell you about dream time. The movie Inception relies upon a gimmick of time distortion while dreaming. The idea is that you dream faster than real time passes. If you go to sleep and dream within a dream, time in the outside world is passing even slower, relatively speaking. If you can go deep enough, you can effectively stop time in the real world. So how does this idea map onto what science tells us about time perception and how it changes while dreaming? Let me say, I realize movies are supposed to be fun and that you're not supposed to question them too closely. Lots of movies are based upon principles that directly contradict what we know scientifically, though some are more egregious than others. For example, movies that rely upon the myth that we only use 10% of our brains and if we could unlock the rest we would become superpowered. They are unwatchable for me because that myth is so pervasive and so wrong. If you want to see a puppet version of me explain why, I'll put a card with a link to that video here somewhere. The idea of time moving much faster in dreams than in real life goes way back to French scholar Alfred Maury, who in 1861 had a really long dream about how he had taken part in the French Revolution and was eventually tried and convicted and sentenced to die at the guillotine. He woke up from the dream as the blade of the guillotine fell, only to find that a piece of his bed had fallen off and struck him on the neck. He reasoned that the entire dream must have been created in that exact moment, because otherwise how would the whole narrative leading up to the guillotine have occurred in real time, not knowing that he would actually be hit in the neck? Now this reasoning seems logical, but does one French guy's 160 year old dream tell us all we need to know about time perception in dreams? Full disclosure, there's not just a ton of research on this, which is probably due to the difficulty of doing these kinds of experiments. That said, it's kind of cool too because it's an interesting question, meaning there's room to innovate and explore. The first thing we have to do is determine what we mean by dreaming. After all, you're not dreaming all the time during sleep, only a small portion of it. Sleep goes through cycles of different types of activity, and dreaming is usually associated with a phase called REM sleep. R-E-M, standing for rapid eye movement. When you're in REM sleep, you tend to, you guessed it, move your eyes all over the place. The brain keeps the rest of the body paralyzed, else you'd act out your dreams, which might cause all kinds of problems. One barrier to studying dreams is that if you go through REM sleep and start dreaming, by the time you go through another sleep cycle, you're likely to have forgotten most of what was happening during the dream. That's why a lot of people can't remember their dreams. Therefore, a strategy we can use is to monitor the sleep cycles and wake people up during the REM cycle to ask about what they were dreaming about. In 1957, Demont and Kleitman conducted a study in which they woke people up after 5 or 15 minutes of REM activity and asked if they had been dreaming for 5 minutes or 15 minutes. Participants were correct 83% of the time. They also found that if you ask the person to give a report of what they'd been dreaming about, the more time that they'd been dreaming, the longer that report was of what happened in the dream. This finding has been replicated a few times, so it doesn't look good for the hypothesis that dream time is faster than real time. But maybe there's hope for the idea after all. In a study by Moiseva, 1975, dreams with a bizarre structure or strong emotional content were able to expand the flow of time during the dream by up to a hundred times. This fits, by the way, with a number of studies showing emotional content can change perceptions of time even when you're awake, like the reports of some people that time slows down during a traumatic event, like in a car accident. One big problem with measuring all of this is that it's hard to run a controlled experiment related to dream content or have participants complete tasks while they're dreaming. Another line of research may help get around this problem by studying lucid dreaming. Lucid dreams are dreams while you are asleep, but you can become aware of the fact that you're dreaming and start to control the dreams. There are various techniques to engage in lucid dreaming, but it isn't clear, at least to me, whether the rules that govern regular dreaming would hold true in lucid dreams or not. 
But with that caveat acknowledged, the good news is that because lucid dreams allow the control of the dream, you can more easily run experiments. As it turns out, there are some experiments with lucid dreaming on time perception. In a study by Laberge in 1985, he found that the time it took to count to 10 while lucid dreaming was really close to the amount of time it took while awake. Now this study wasn't perfect. Laberge himself was the only participant. Though his body was paralyzed, he was able to use his eye movements to signal the start and end of the counting process. Now in 2004, another group of researchers did a similar experiment with similar methods and found that counting five seconds while lucid dreaming was similarly accurate to counting while awake. In their experiment, they also had participants dream that they were doing 10 squats. Dreaming that they were doing squats took much longer than actually doing squats while awake. In a third study, researchers compared the time required for walking, squats, and complex gymnastics routines during lucid dreaming and found that all of the tasks took longer while dreaming than awake. But the more difficult tasks didn't take any longer than the easier ones. But again, this is the opposite of the inception idea. Time in this case moves slower in the dream than in real life. So what can we make of all this? I think it's safe to say that dream time is related to real time, but we do know that distortions can and do occur under different situations. It's definitely not as simple as Inception's idea about how dream time works. It's exciting because there's a lot more we can learn about how our perceptions change while dreaming and how that informs the overall function of dreams in general. I had a dream that you hit the like button because you found this video interesting. Subscribe to keep up with our new videos on all things psychology, and until next time, keep thinking. Okay, we did it. We're inside the dream. Now to activate dream time, we just have to do something bizarre and terrifying while doing squats and cartwheels. I think I'm scared enough of the cartwheels that they might just work by themselves.